Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I have a product for you guys today to showcase to you and I think it's one of the best ways in which you can carry your camera. Let's go. So as you guys know that I'm a wedding photographer and I use two cameras and this is what I normally have as my setup. This is my double strap. Uh, you've, you've probably seen me do a video on this. I can put it somewhere on the screen right here. But what I want to do is I'm going to be transitioning over to Peak Designs. And one of the main reasons is for me, it has been a little bit sometimes very difficult when I'm wearing my, my suit and also my jacket. And oftentimes when I have my jacket on, I tend to either put it on the inside of the jacket under my suit or I put it over my jacket. And what, what happens is when I have my jacket on and I'm trying to do a lift, it oftentimes snag on my jacket, the strap. And that oftentimes can get in the way of what I need to do. Now I'm thinking of moving over to Peak Design. I literally just got it and I wanted to show it to you guys. So here we go. All right guys, so here we have the packages right here and I bought two, one of each because I used two cameras. So we have the capture camera clip and we have the pro pad. The reason why I got these, I was concerned whether or not the camera is going to be scratching against the, my pants when I'm moving about. And I think the pad is going to be helping to prevent uh, that. Um, I don't really use long lenses like this that much. My longest lens is a 135. And I'll probably show you examples of that um, in a coming up video. So here we go. So the thing I like about this now is once you kind of, even before you actually got into the box, you kind of get a little preview of what the actual size of the pad looks like. And I think that's pretty dope. And it also shows you the camera's lenses that you can actually use with this pad. All right, so let's get inside the box and see. All right, so as soon as we get inside the box, and this is the pad. All right, uh, Pro Pad Installation Belt Carry. And it shows you uh, the instructions of how to attach it to the belt and how to get the, the clip onto the pad, which I think is pretty good. And it shows you here right again. And I think that's pretty good, guys. And I think if I pull this out here in the pad, and this, I like this because there's some tension here that the clip actually goes under, and I like that. And it's nicely stitched in right here. The quality of the pad is pretty good. There's hardly any kind of flex, all right? So let's put that to the side and let's open the other one. If you guys are getting any value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Let's continue the video. All right, so let's get inside the out of box now and it's the same design pretty much you open and you get a viewing of what products is in on the inside and like before it actually shows you the weight so you can see here 200 plus pounds 90 plus kilograms all right and then it also shows you the safety that you can actually press it to release the camera and you can also twist and lock to that you don't accidentally um, remove the camera from the, the clip and you know it shows you the products that you can actually do use it with and the camera sizes and I think that's pretty good all right let's look at the back and you can see what the setup was actually look like on the belt and on the, the the bag strap right there and I think that's pretty good all right and so let's get inside this box let's get my knife take my time and try to pull it out without ripping the box okay I think we did a good job right there. And inside the box shows you the different attachment that you can actually use it with. They actually have a tripod, they have a strap, you have the clip here, the bag, and a small bag. And then it shows you, it's a universal quarter 20 and four-way entry. So you can actually turn your camera to different angles, which I think is pretty good. Um, then you have the clip here uh, with the release, and I think that's pretty good and it shows you, you know, the instructions how to tighten it onto the camera and all that good stuff. And I think that's pretty good. So let's get inside. Let's see what's inside the pouch first. So inside your pouch, you're gonna have the Allen key, right? Shows you that you're gonna be using it to tighten the, 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 the lock onto the camera. 
And let's see what's inside. We have two screws. Not sure what these are for, but we'll definitely, oops, we'll definitely find out in a little bit. So you have the two screws and the Allen key. All right, let's put that to the side and let's try to get inside here. So let's untwist just to get inside and let's pull this up. All right, that's good. Let's try to do the same here. Oh, so what we have to do is release the, the knob here and release the knob here. So pretty much guys, what you do is once, once you get the screws out of the, pa the, the, the packaging, you're literally going to have it, make sure the rubber is facing you. Then the first part of the clip, you slide it into the hole and it's gonna be going like that. And then all you do is, you just, and it's pretty simple the other side. So once you get it in, it's pretty much locked in. And that is the safety right there. And let's take this out. All right, so we have that to the side now. And like they mentioned, you have, it's literally four ways. You slide it in, there's a little bit of play. I don't think that's gonna be a big deal because of this safety right here, but you, it won't come out until you release the clip. Put it in, release. And then once, if you have it in, you can twist and then it won't be able to be pressed. And you twist it back and it's released. And then you press it, you take it out. And I think that's pretty good, guys. So let me get the other one out, the box. Good. Loving it, guys. Right there. Pretty good. And Let's put it onto the pad, like so. And then pretty much you lift this. Just keep in mind, guys, there's a little bit of tension, which I think is pretty good. You're just gonna lift it and try to put it under. Slide it in like so. And then you can easily, let me just raise it up a little bit. Once you slide it in, you can have it, you can see what it's gonna look like before I put the padding down here, all right? So let's put it up, let's put it up. Now, we'll have this down. Make sure to release this a little bit so you can get a little bit more play. So release this section also. Then once you have it, both of them locked in, you can now tighten both sides like so. And I think that looks pretty good, guys. Very, very nice. And like I said, there's a rubber. Let's use this other one right here. So this rubber right here is gonna prevent any kind of movement once it's locked in. And I think that's a pretty good feature to have. And the quality of the clip itself is a really high quality uh, metal that they use. And I think that's pretty good, guys. Pretty, pretty good. So let's do the second one. Once you have it in, tighten. Tighten on both ends. And that's pretty much it. Just like that. It's easy, simple to assemble. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the strap, the cameras off, take my belt off. All right, so First, I just need to remove the clip from under the camera. So the first thing I need to do now is I need to put it onto my belt. And literally, you just slide it on between the pants on the belt and the belt. And you find a location that you think is comfortable for you. Um, I think right here for me is pretty good like so, all right? And then what I'll do is I'll do the, the other one. All right, so I think I have it in a really good spot that I, I like. And I think it's good right there. I'll do the same over here, and that's good. Okay, so firstly, once I have that done, is I need to make sure when I'm having this, it's gonna be either, it's gonna be right here, the safety area, which is the release, is gonna be on my right side, okay? So all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna lift this up, like so. So once that is on there now, guys, 
I put a tool right below the, where the belt ends. I'm gonna have it right there. Let's make sure that this is up. So once it's up like that, put it right under the belt, then tighten. And I think that's good. I basically finger tighten it. I don't need to have it any much tighter than that. And I think that's pretty good, guys. So I'm gonna do the other side on there, nice and easy. It's very snug because there's a rubber piece that is actually underneath the metal that is actually helping to keep this in place. And now what we need to do now, I'm gonna press the release right here and slide it up just to get the plate out. Once I have the plate out now, is as simple and just tighten. Just like that. As you can see right there, tighten it. Just like that. I'm gonna do the other one. And it's really snug on there. So now I have my camera, slide it in, just like that. Next side, and then let's put it on. Just like that. And here we are guys, just like that. Nice and easy. These guys can see. And it's easy for me to just use my thumb, take it off, put it down. Same side, use my thumb, take it off, put it down. And that's it. And easy, just a very easy action for me to just slide it in. You can use both hands as well. I need to get my shot, boom, boom, boom. Put it down. And that's it, guys. I think this for me is pretty good. Um, I don't see any downsides right now because literally if I'm resting and I need to rest my arms, I can literally do this. I think that is really, really nice. And like, and, and, and like I've mentioned in an earlier video, I can literally do it from the side as well. And it's still basically the same. Same thing. No, nothing different. Like that. Boom. You guys can see. Just like that. Just like that. And it's so easy to take off. So easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Boom, slide it up. So easy, guys. I don't know what else to say, but the quality, the build quality of the metal is really good and that's one of the things I really like. But I love the fact that I can reposition this any way I choose on my belt. I can literally slide it over this way, slide it that way. I can put it further back so I can have it a little bit more back. So if I'm passing stuff, this is not gonna get in the way. So you can reposition this any way that you guys like for your comfort. And I think you'll get the best use case out of it once you customize it to how you work. For me, I think this is in a good space because I can easily, if I'm passing through people, I always tend to put my hands over my cameras anyway, even when I was using the strap. You know what I'm saying? So I can literally just turn sideways if I'm walking through people. If I'm walking down the, the pew of the church, it's easy for me to be walking. That's it. If I wear my jacket, I can put my jacket over it. And like I said, I can always reposition it to the back a little bit more so I have my size a little bit more free. But once I, I start using it, I'll definitely figure out the best way once I'm in the field working and I can know how best to have this work better for me. Because my thing is smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? So I can have my hands free, which is what I like. The strap always have the cameras kind of swinging if I should make a quick turn. I oftentimes have to hold the camera because it's going to be swinging. But over the years, I've gotten and found a way that whenever I'm doing any kind of movement, I always just kind of put my hand on my camera and I just move. So I've had this strap for, I have had this strap for many, many years. This is actually my second one that I, that I purchased. So this, I'm not going to discount this at all, but I just want something that will allow me to work a little bit faster when I'm with clients or when I'm just doing, you know, fast movements. I want to be able to just be able to flip, take out whatever camera I need, put it down. And this is my first time actually using this. So, you know, and to know that it's pretty simple, just like that, to, to work, I have no problem with this, guys. Like I said, the only thing I notice now that you have to just keep in mind, make sure that this is nice and snug and tight. That's the only thing. That I can see, because it moved on a little bit a while ago, and that's because it wasn't tightened. Because I didn't tighten all the way. But I have to make sure now that I do tighten it all the way. And I really, really and truly like this, guys. Um, the one thing I noticed so far, let me unscrew this. And this is me just nitpicking at this, is I noticed that over time, I think there's gonna be a lot of friction here. And I think, to be honest with you guys, once it does the job what it's supposed to do, I really don't care about that. 
because over time things are going to scratch things are they're, they're, because there's always movement so you're going to have something happening let me put the camera on so you guys can see what it looks like and that's literally what it looks like on the there you can see it and this is a little bit of play guys that's the only thing i noticed but to be honest with you i can't see it coming up because it's really not going anywhere and i love the fact that the safety is so easy we press it it releases right away but also when you there's a seat with the safety right here if you twist it it's locked so you you can't accidentally remove this from the the belt and that's an extra layer of security and i think that's pretty good guys so overall guys on the first use case in terms of just having it here talking to you talking to you guys and having this here i think this is going to be a really handy design for for my use case out in the field working i have a couple of shoes coming up this weekend so i'm going to definitely be using this for sure and i i will give you guys feedback and let you guys know how it goes but i think i'll be fine and i love under the clip here the plate right here you can see the four holes that is where this actual section sorry about that guys this actual section this thing here this is what goes inside the holes right here so this little pin right here that silver little pin right here goes inside here so that is not going anywhere guys and i'm telling you it feels solid yes there's a little bit of play when it's on the plate itself but i don't think that's big of a deal i don't think that's anything that you guys need to worry if you guys enjoyed that video smash that like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more and take care peace